A well, list of school district salaries in DeForest making the rounds and making people there more than a little angry. Tonight, the school board heard from parents face to face. News 3's David Douglas now with more in our news center. David. And they had plenty to say, Eric. The list shows 22 administrators racking up more than $200,000 in increased compensation split between them. One raise, the document shows, took an administrator from $66,000 a year to $92,000. The school district told us today they couldn't be certain the copy we have is accurate, but they are clearly concerned. Tonight, the board met to write a letter to the community explaining their actions. The raises were approved last June. Even though a public hearing wasn't scheduled for this evening, the public showed up, fired up, and blasted the board for the raises, but also not being transparent about how they were doled out. You didn't really tell us what you were voting on. You didn't give the community here any opportunity to know how big these were, how small they were, for whether they were administrative, what DAEA, DASS is. The community doesn't know what that is. You can rescind these things. You can make things happen, and that's what this board needs to do. They need to listen to the community and make statements that say, we support the community, we support the kids. That man there, Dan Wentland, the former school board president in DeForest. Today, the superintendent, John Bales, told me all employees, including teachers, got what they call the market-adjusted raise at some point, and they had the goal of retaining employees. That's why they did it. The did, district did recently make some sharp benefit cuts and concessions with its employees through collective bargaining. We asked the district today to show us those teacher salary increases and we're told they'll work to get the information to us. We should point out the district has frozen salaries for the next school year. Many parents say in spite of that, these raises are wrong. All right, David Douglas in our news center. David, thank you.